Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of the 600 euro Terry project. It's a rainy day here in Sweden and I'm back on the boat project. As you can see, I have mounted the uh, hydrofoils. Uh, I'm going to replace this uh, fasteners with stainless. I filed the prop down. It has, it had a few uh, jagged edges. You can see here, uh, but I filed it down so it's nice and smooth, and I've tested it in the water. It's a lot more stable at low speeds, and uh, yeah, it picked up a couple of knots in the top end. It's planing a lot quicker and a lot easier, so I'm really happy with mounting this. And today I'm going to do a few small modifications so i have been shopping two rod holders uh, clamps for the paddle so it has a place to sit nice and tight in the boat uh, these clamps with rubber linings and i'm going to use these to mount the thing in this box and that is a bimini top I bought fasteners for the Bimini top, screws for the clamps and for the little hatch as I'm, uh, th that I mounted and a new two new mooring ropes just to... Yeah. I only had a bigger boat earlier and the mooring ropes were so big so I can hardly get them in there. So two new mooring ropes and a little bit of fishing gear as I was in the boat store. All right, I'm going to start to... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start with the rod holders and then go over to the clamps and hope that the rain doesn't get worse. This was actually a lot nicer than I realized at first. You have four, four screws here you can tighten by hand, clamp that around the railing. I knew that uh, they were supposed to go around the railing. And then you can just pop them out if you don't want them. And they are adjustable. Yeah, so I bought two of those and I'm going to mount them. I have another project that I'm working on parallel at the moment where I have to brush some whitewash off a wall. So I used my uh, Milwaukee power drill and I know they're not supposed to go on high revs and for a, for a long period of time but that was exactly what I did. So I burnt this, uh, some very hot pieces of the gearbox came and flew right out onto my hand and I burned myself a little bit. But I have one more of this, luckily, but I don't want to destroy it by keep doing this job. And I have the park side, the um, uh, little tool. I have that in a paint gun, which is also on battery. So, I had to buy one more battery for my paint gun and it was only like 10 euros more to buy a drill with it. It works, it has front and reverse, only one gear and uh, a 2 amp hour battery. And it really feels like some of the power tool toys my kid has. Compared to the Milwaukee, it feels like, yeah, it feels like a piece of shit. But I'm going to try it now. It's brand new. I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to try it on uh, drilling a couple of holes to mount the hardware for the pedal in the boat.
All right, I'm going to unbox the bag, the box. In this, it's supposed to be a mini top, which is 1.5 meters wide. I'm going to try to put it on with the clamps on the railing on the side of the boat. That way, if you want to, you can move it forward and backwards a little easier. A little, a little easier than not at all. All right, so this is what you get. On manual, with uh, hopefully all the components with it. The rods. This looks like pick a pick. So I have opened everything. This is the canvas top. I went with the dark gray one. They had a lot of different colors. And it actually had this uh, cover for it. I didn't know that. It was probably in the ad, but I didn't read it that well. That was very nice. So when you have it rolled up, you can cover it up so it doesn't get bird poo and everything on it. This is your uh, pick a stick collection. I'm guessing the instruction here will tell you how all the parts go together. Yeah, I hope so. And the hardware box. <laughs> you actually get a tiny screwdriver. Probably useless. All the screws and uh, plastic fasteners and everything. Doesn't look to be in. Actually, looks quite nice. I mean, for the price, I only paid about uh, a little over 100 euros for this. I bought it off online, Swedish website. I'm guessing it's the same if you buy them on Amazon or uh, eBay or wherever you want to buy them. What's ever most convenient for you. And you have the strings to keep it upright when uh, you want to have it folded out. Okay, as you can see here, B1 and B2 goes into C. That creates the upright there and there were two slightly curved pieces that has a D on it that goes through the canvas top and then uh, B1 and B2 goes into D and uh, that's about it and just use the plastic fasteners and I bought the clamps so under here, the clamps will sit around the railing on the boat. So the parts aren't actually labeled. Uh, it's not the end of the world. The only parts that look similar but are different is uh, the B1 and B2. And the only difference between them is uh, that, that uh, this is in the opposite way around depending on if it's the front or the back, or the back or the front, yeah. So, uh, it's not that hard of a puzzle. And uh, I have, the, have it the right way around now. So they only snap in, just to snap them in. I'm trying to do it and show you at the same time. Just push it in. push it in and it locks into place that's one I don't know it's the, if it's the B1 or the B2 but it's one of them and this is the other one a little rubber gasket there so it doesn't rub on each other and this is what it's supposed to look like you have this on the outside of the mini top so you can have the strings from the front and the back and I have positioned it there. So it goes all the way to the back. And I want to be able to fold it down uh, and not to catch on the fishing rods. As you can see here, sorry. 
I have uh, rod holders in the back as well. So I'm going to place the plastic foot there and uh, we'll see how it looks once it's folded up. So this is the plastic foot for it. Uh, it's made for just to be mounted in a fiberglass boat or in a ABS plastic boat like this. But because I'm going to mount them on my railings, I bought this stainless hardware to uh, uh, use on my hydrofoil. So I had to drill them out and countersunk it so it doesn't catch on the mini top when I fold it. So they go in like that. And then these rubber clamps are going through the railing. And of course, I got two for each side. So like that, I'm going to clamp it to the black railing so I can move it forward and backward as I want to. So I'm going to drill out the other one and uh, then mount these two. I actually think that looks quite good. It's in the position where I want it. Back seat is covered by the mini top. The first chair is almost covered. Uh, for now, I've just tied it down to the railing and to the rear mooring points. But uh, yeah, I like that. It fits the boat. And it's quite a lot of space under it. It's uh, yeah, it's about 130 centimeters from the seating position. So you can't stand up under there, but that was never the idea either. So I'm just going to tie everything down. And now I know, when I know where uh, all the connection points are going, I can uh, drill and uh, screw them in. So the last attachment point is right there. All over the boat there are these small holes. I've used them for uh, the other three attachment points, but the one on this side and the one on that side wasn't even, so I didn't bother with this one. I drilled a new. So I measured up, drill one, uh, tighten down the screw, and then I drill the other one. And it's really about 10 millimeters of plastic in here. Oh, that's hard to see. Anyways. So, tighten the screw down and uh, hook up the last uh, piece of rope. It's actually turning out great. Can I have my little assistant, assistant with me? Okay, so the cost breakdown. I paid 600 euros for the boat with engine and trailer. I paid 65 euros for uh, service of the engine, the parts for that, the impeller, the spark plugs and the oil. I paid 105 for uh, the Bemini top and an additional 130 for the other modifications, the hydrofoils, the rod holders, 
and uh, the stainless hardware to mount uh, the mini top and the hydrofoil. That's put, that puts me on an even 900 euros. And I think that's pretty good for, uh, for this kind of boat. As you can see, the weather isn't the best. The rain is just around in there. just out on the last test drive without the hydrofoils and I can tell you this they are going back on I think this uh, boat turned out uh, really nice. Uh, you can see the bimini top and the rod holders and everything. Yeah, I like this project. I enjoyed it. It was not that much of a project though. The engine was running, so I, all I really did was give it a good cleaning and uh, and the service, and uh, did a few modifications to it. But I'm happy. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'm going to find another project or something else to work on and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.